Good morning, ladies and gents. Little bro's car is in the shop, and my genius self volunteered to take him to school. All right, honey, have a great day. Decided to take a road trip today. I am from Evan, Oklahoma, but I'm really from Shattuck, Oklahoma. And that's where I'm headed today. I heard an awesome quote the other day that I want to share with you guys. And the quote is, legacy is more important than currency. And I believe that to be 100% true. Everybody wants to build up all this money, become rich, have all of these nice things. And let me tell you something. After you die, all that stuff is gone. You're not taking your money to the grave with you. And everything that you did stops when you take your last breath. Legacy, on the other hand, is really what you're going to leave behind. You know, you stand up for a cause. You start a nonprofit. You help people. Um, you know, let's say you start some type of an organization. That will continue even whenever you're gone. So let's say you stand for the idea of helping homeless kids, right? So you start um, a nonprofit that can help them. Well, as long as that nonprofit's going, your legacy and your memory is still being carried on. So technically, you're still alive. If you don't do stuff like that and you're just about yourself, you're just about what all can I gain, how much money can I make, once you're gone, you're gone. So definitely agree that legacy is way more important for someone currency is and I just wish more people would take time to really understand that concept two and a half hours later made it to Shattuck America so actually she's right here my relative works here her name's Grammy but her government name is grandma we're gonna go surprise her watch and learn ma'am Oh, he already told you? Yes! yes. Say hello to the Sorry. phone. What? Movie wow. Say hello We're, to the hello, phone. Hello, hello. So we're here in Shattuck, America. <laughs> Tuesday night homecoming at the Shattuck gym. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at the ball game. Tonight's matchup is Shattuck versus <laughs> Buffalo. Where are you going? Where are you going, big guy? That. Where are we headed? We're going to church. Going to a little Bible study. We're going to Bible study. And yes. who runs the Bible study? Brother Paul. Relative Paul. Relative Paul. Yes. Paul. Paul. Her brother. My brother. My little brother. Leads the Bible study. Bible study. What's and the story tonight? We are studying, seriously, this is very interesting. Have you ever studied, and I know I've told you about it before, the correlation, the similarities between Joseph and Jesus? Mm -hmm. Joseph was thrown in the prison with two, the butler and the baker. Yeah. Remember? Jesus was on the cross with yeah. two thieves. One, the mm -hmm. one of the butler, one of them was saved, one was saved that was on the cross. Yeah. Um, Joseph was sold into captivity. Jesus was sold. Mm. Remember? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go study this. Besides consistency, patience is the key, my friend. And the reason you guys all clicked on this video is because somebody broke into my grandparents' house. And no, that is not a lie. 
and no, I did not forget about it. Let me tell you a little bit about what happened, okay? My grandparents somehow left the key to their house on the inside and the door got locked. So when we came back later that night, we couldn't get in. And my grandpa, aka my role model, aka head honcho, aka the greatest of all time, aka the most interesting man in the world, had to decide how to break into his own house. And that was quite comical. You would think a man would know the weaknesses of his own castle. However, it took at least 45 minutes to get in. And let me tell you this. The key to the house may have been on the inside, but we still tried every key on the face of the earth. We tried more keys than are on a piano. He tried to get in win one window and ended up cutting his hand. But he did finally find a window and somehow unlocked it and got it up. And let me tell you this. He didn't let his 23-year-old grandson slide in through the window. He grabbed the bull by the horns and he did it. And let me tell you this. This wasn't no normal entry. It was incredible. It was ninja-like. It was sleek and quick like a fox. It was graceful and magnificent. I felt like classical music should have been playing as he slid in. It was like milk being poured into a glass. So without further ado, check it out. Well, even if the, even if that bottom isn't locked, you can put your hand through there and unlock it. Well, it ain't locked. I just got maybe I can pull it up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right there on the bed. <laughs> you want to do it? You want me to? Uh, I can go. I'll, I'll do it. Shit. You broke in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Not, yeah, I have now. You make it pop? Yep. Victory?